Tea time with Trav. I'm not knocking anybody that does it, but I can never have an open relationship. I want you to myself, when I want you, how I want you, etc. I'm not sharing it with nobody. Because I feel like if you want to sleep with somebody else, be single. What's going on, y'all? It's Ayo and I'm back, 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 back again. Y'all, I have more soul food. I went back to Who's Got Soul. Who's Got Soul in Decatur, Georgia, y'all. It's so good. Um, somebody recommended that I try to oxtail, so I was like, let me do that. And then I got me some smothered pork chops. So I'm about to say, Grace, and then we're going to go ahead and start eating. Father God, I come to you today to ask you to watch over this food. Please, there be no spring to my body. Please, let me digest this food properly. In your name, I pray. Amen. 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 Let me get my fork. Hope I don't break this one. Salt and pepper came out. I don't need no salt. I don't need no pepper. Touch all with a little pork chop. Oh my god. This gravy is good. Oh. Oh, oh, mm. I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to see if I had a straw over there. Put my lemonade. Mm. That was a bone. This is good. I'm good, y'all. Make sure my phone is off. Or um, robbery as little as possible. How was y'all day doing today? Yep. I'm happy. Why would it fall like that? No, I'm gonna have it. Minus the bones. <laughs> This is a lot of sugar. Whoa. Yeah, my bang getting in my way. <laughs> I know y'all see that bang.
Very good. Oh yeah, we're about to start talking. Tea time with Trav. Tell y'all boyfriends and husbands and baby daddies, etc. to stay out my DMs. Okay. If you are emotionally involved with someone, don't try to talk to me. Don't DM me. I don't know crazy stuff like that. I'm not with it. Me personally, I'm not knocking anybody that does it, but I can never have an open relationship. Never in a million years. I'm too, no, no. I'm too greedy. I want you to myself, when I want you, how I want you, etc. I'm not sharing you with nobody. Literally. Nobody. Sorry, y'all. I'm not, no. I don't understand how people do that. And it's really not meant for me to understand clearly. But I feel like if you want to sleep with somebody else, be single. People in open relationships are literally having their cake and eating it too. And I... No, I got all the cake that you're going to want and need. You don't have to go nowhere else. Mm. That would make sense to me. I really, no. But then it also makes you wonder... How open is the relationship? Because I've had somebody, you know, try to talk to me and I knew that they were in a relationship. And when I asked him about it, he was like, oh no, we both do our own thing. And I had questions on top of questions on top of questions because if you're doing your own thing, why are you in a relationship? If you want to do your own thing, be single. Like, that's what confuses me. Why be in a relationship if it's going to be open? Like, what? And I'm not trying to be shady. I'm not downplaying anybody. I really genuinely want to know what is the point of being in a relationship if it's open and y'all are sleeping around with other people. Why not just make that person a friend with benefits? I don't get that. And I'm not sleeping with my partner and another person. Because if you make some noises that you ain't never made before, because what that person did, now be both y'all up. Now both y'all got to get beat up. And I don't condone cheating at all. I don't condone stepping out. I've done it. I ain't gonna lie, I've done it. When I was younger. But I don't condone it. So. I would never allow anybody. Well, I'm not going to say I would never allow because. I don't know what the future may have. I might get cheated on and want to say. I would never knowingly. Allow you to keep sleeping with somebody else. I'll put it that way. 
No. Mm -mm. The only time I would let my partner sleep with somebody else is if we're trying to have a child and we go down that route of sleep with a girl. But I, I doubt I would do that though. Um, I'm saying that's on way that. But I, I don't even think I would do that. We have a test tube, baby. Test tube. Tubity test. And that little baby gonna be manufactured how I want it to be. Uh -uh. I want this collage, I want that kind of hair, I want this length, I want that, I want this, but this, but this, but this, but this, but this, but this, <laughs> Had to get me to. I wish I would be dating somebody and they ask to bring somebody else into this relationship. You're gonna lose your relationship. Who are you? You might lose your life. I don't know. <laughs> Look. On the flip side, I know people who are in open relationships, but it's one-sided. And the other person don't know that they're in open relationship. And this person do what they want to do, when they want to do it, and who they want to do it with. And um, I'd be like, he ain't gotta know. Uh -huh. He gonna know, because I'm gonna tell him. Because you trifling. You are trife. A limb. <laughs> Y'all be making up words. I really do be making up words, and I don't even hear. But, mm -mm. no, I'm too territorial. Try them on the share. And I know they'd be like, I'm trying to talk about the food in my mouth, y'all. <laughs> I know they say the longer you stay with somebody, the more out of your comfort zone you have to step in order to, you know, keep it spicy. Because when you with somebody for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, most relationships don't make that long anymore. But, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You gotta start doing stuff to spice it up. That ain't my If you wanna spice up what we got going on, let me buy you some cayenne pepper. Some red pepper flakes, chili powder. That's the way our relationship gonna get spicy. I'm not bringing nobody else into the bedroom because it's just it's just like drugs. It's like drugs and babies, babies. Um, Y'all probably like, what's that? I'm telling. It's like drugs. You try something one time and you may get addicted to it. You don't take one time to get addicted. So if I bring you into, if we bring somebody into this room, you you can either one get addicted to us sharing. And that's going to be a problem. Or two, you can start getting addicted to that person. He ain't going to want to be with me no more. Which is doing me a favor because I don't want to be with anybody that I'm not supposed to be with. They want to be me. I want to be with them. Boom, we ain't going to be together. But. Or like I said, it can be like babies. Once you pop. Because when people get pregnant. Some of them don't know how to stop. I have relatives that have eight children. Once you pop, you just can't stop. So you give them the taste of the, the honey, not even the whole beehive. Now, we tried it, we experimented, we do it again. If you want to keep doing it again, go be single. You do whatever you want. Go find you two extra people because 
you can subtract one. That's all I'm saying. I'm not with that. I'm not. <clears throat> I've been hearing how some women don't like that their man is at the strip club. And <laughs> it can kind of come off as controlling. But, you know, I mean, I get what they're saying. You know. Mm -mm. That was all bone. Is this me? Somebody's me. But I can kind of get what they're saying. Like, why do you need to see another woman strip dance naked? When you got all this, not to strip dance naked for you. I get that. I get it. This is all on the flip side. Let the man have fun. But then, that's where they begin my ideas from. Because then, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nope. Especially these celebrities, y'all. They will step out on their woman for a stripper in a minute. In a minute. And I was like, first off, the stripper gonna talk. And it's gonna get out because you're famous. So they want money. So they're probably gonna sell this story to the highest bidder. Secondly, If the stripper did that that easily with you, what do you think they would do with somebody else? And then they'd be trying to trap y'all too. Cause the the ones that are like groupies, they're gonna get pregnant. They're gonna get pregnant. Cause they know that you stuck for life. And that's why I applaud Black China. I applaud her because if Black China ain't do nothing else, Black China showed everybody how to get it and leave. She told and reminded the world that men will sponsor vagina. I ain't mad at it. Excuse me. You may not have liked what Black China did, how she did it, etc. But you will respect what she made out of it. That's what you will do. At the time, I believe Tiger was big with Young Money. I'm sure he was. He ain't big no more. He ain't big no more, is he? To like OnlyFans. But whatever. He popped up Young Money. She had baby. Remember I said once she popped, you just can't stop. Keep having babies, babies, babies. Let's come over here. And she upgraded from this one to this one. Not necessarily she didn't upgrade in the look department or the body department. Um, but she upgraded in the coin, which was her goal. So she upgraded and she come over here to rob Kardashian. Now, you know the Kardashians are set for life. So are their children and probably their grandchildren. Um, probably a little bit after that too. So she wrapped him up when Rob was going through all this emotional stuff. He depressed and all that. So a pretty girl with a nice body come up on him and she tell him to look good, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. He fall for the okie doke. What does Black China do? She then gets pregnant by Rob Kardashian. Boom. So she's now pregnant by this man, Tiger. Boom. But at this point, Tiger started getting his car repossessed and stuff like this. So he's not really, he doesn't really have much money, which is probably why she left. So Black China got sold to the highest bidder and she came over here to Rob Kardashian. 
Boom. Who's a millionaire? Multi-millionaire. And his family is set. So one thing that she knows that she is always going to be is set. Because she's blood by baby. That's what she was. Blood by baby. So that, that baby is always a Kardashian. Therefore, that baby will be taken care of. Meaning her mother will be taken care of. And if they don't take care of Black China, which they probably won't. On the flip side, whatever they're doing for her child, she doesn't have to do. When it comes to money, therefore, she gets to keep on it. So, they take burdens off her. So, more to the story. Now, I won't have an open relationship. Y'all probably like, how do you get started talking about Black China and Tiger and all this? Because I'm talking about strippers. Because these men be bringing strippers into their bed. They bring strippers into their bed, strippers into their home, and they lose what they had at home before the stripper came. And that's how it happened. So now. But on that note, I'm about to go ahead and sign it out because, yeah, just because. So, if you haven't already, check out the website, www.ahf.com. Boom. It's right there in the description box below. If not, subscribe to the channel. There's a right there. Boom. Hit the bell right there. Boom. So you'll be notified each and every time there's a video. But if you want to take a minute with the other channel, back to the description box. Go down to the bottom. Brr, boom. Right there and only there. You'll see my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. All that. Let me follow. Let me come on Instagram. Let me do Instagram. Let me come in here. Do whatever. Let me know what you like. What's don't like. What's one to see. What don't see. What's one to see. What don't see. What's one to see. What don't see. What's one to 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 see.